All right, good evening. Let me get you guys to hold it down for a second. All right. Listen, welcome uh, to the 2021 championship ceremony. This past year was an outstanding year, and our team's did an excellent job. So we, we want to celebrate tonight. We won't be here long, but this is an opportunity to reflect the success of our teams. If you don't mind, could all of you stand? We'll have a moment of silence for the 9-11 victims who are terrible tragedy to U.S. 20 years ago. Let's please take this moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. All right. Very good. This mic is uh, delaying, so I'm having a hard time following through what I wanted to do. Are you guys hearing me? Oh, okay. Okay. Very good. All right. What'd you say, Coach? <laughs> It, you know there's no stutter in my game. <laughs> Listen, first, I would like to bring up uh, a young man who was the first head coach that I signed when I first got here. And when he got here, we had a tough job, a very tough job. It's one of our smallest sports. At least fund sport, and he did an outstanding job on what it takes to become a champion. And for our student athletes, for our coaches, I want to give you an example how this works. At not one point did he talk to me about what we didn't have. Not one time. We were short on staff. Scholarships, scholarships and everything, everything that, you that you would need to keep, to keep a competitive, competitive program. program. I, promised I promised him that we'll, that get, we'll there, get there, but we're going to have to work, work with what we got. What we got. And we will balance, balance just to have, to have five, five student athletes, student athletes, athletes to, play. to play. We had, we had football, football players, players playing tennis. Playing tennis. We had people in the SGA playing tennis. We were across campus just trying to figure out a way to keep the program. We rede redeveloped the courts. And we said, you know what? We're going to make this happen. And not only did they win a championship, he built a program for the men and the women. And the women are going to be next. The women are going to be next. So without any further ado, I would like to bring up the SWAC Coach of the Year, Alabama a and alum, my man, Willis Mbande. I'm just going to comment on the shorts real quick. Uh, I'm from Africa, and when we have a big occasion, you have to dress in royalty. So this is royalty fabric. Good evening, Bulldogs.
Thank you so Thank much you so for much taking, taking your evening, evening to come and celebrate, celebrate with, us with us today. It's been a, it's been a tough season tough for season everybody, for everybody who competed with the challenges of COVID, testing every morning. Uh, I know many of you didn't like the morning checkups, but we had to do it so we could compete. I didn't really get a chance to congratulate my team. I want to tell you guys, congratulations. You did something amazing, and I'm extremely proud of you. Okay. So without taking too much of your time, I'm going to go ahead and introduce my team. And Make sure they get their rings because they've been disturbing me all summer. Coach, when are the rings coming in? Are we going to get the rings? So today's the day. All right. I'll go ahead with my lineup. Name everybody and where they're from. So when I call your name, please go to the sides and get your rings from Coach Nishi. Okay. Playing number one singles was Rodrigo Arana Rios. Number two single and all tournament team, Georgi Popovsky. Number three single, Farmin Ruiz. Number four single, and tournament MVP, Natifat Mulada. Our number five singles player is not here, but I would like for you guys to recognize him, Panji Setia One. Number six singles and all tournament team, Divesh Galot. Number two doubles, Charlie Chang Chang. And the last two members comprising our team is Austin Smith. He's also our SJ president. Harman, Harman Ruiz. Ruiz. Number, grad assistant, grad assistant Nishangan, Nishangan Nadaraja. Nadaraja. Thank you guys so much. And a special thank you to Jesse and a sports medicine team for making the season happen. Moving right along. So, I got here in 2012. And the last time the football championship was here was in 2006. We went division one in 1999. So there was a long period and we only got one. So a few years ago, we had the opportunity to get one of the best college football coaches in the country and we jumped on it. We knew what we were getting. And like he always tell me, all he do is win. And that's what we've done. And he's a better man than he is a coach. 
And so we're we're glad to have, have, and we welcome, welcome, welcome. head football football coach, Connell Connell Maynard. Maynard. (laughs) Woo! Woo! That ain't your boy. Hey, y'all know who I am. I'm a Rolex win, diamond ring win, limousine driving, jet flying, kiss stealing, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these gators down. To beat a man, you got to beat the man. Whether you like it or not, you best learn to love it. It's the best thing going today. Woo! Woo, the nature boy. Hey, hey, we just have a little fun. That's what champions do. Losers, they complain, make excuses. I got to take this thing off. All right. Thank everybody for coming out. Uh, we couldn't have did it without everybody. It starts at the top with uh, President Houghini, his wife, uh, the Board of Trustees, A.D. Hicks, his staff, giving us everything that we need. Uh, Dexter, uh, Hightower, his group. Of course, all of y'all, all of y'all come to the games. I saw y'all there this week, every last one of y'all. I peeked back one time, and all of y'all was up on your feet. So I appreciate that, all the teams, and we're going to support y'all too. I guarantee you. I also want to thank my coaches. Uh, I can't do it by myself. Okay, I got 10 coaches, uh, two part-time, and two GAs. So it's not just me. Those guys put in a lot of hard work, and that's just what happens uh, when you put in a lot of hard work. It pays off. So I want to thank you guys. Congratulations to you. Then, of course, the team. Of course, the team uh, for buying in, believing, and getting it done. Like Coach said, with the COVID, uh, getting up early, all the tests. Oh man, we went 33 games, 33 days within playing a game. So that's tough, you know, learning how to practice, how much conditioning to do. Everybody else getting game speed, and we just practicing. The guys just bought in, did extra running, extra running, extra running, and was prepared on game day. No cramps, nobody got injured. So uh, hats off to you guys for winning the championships. Team. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, introduce the voice of the Bulldog, Mr. Ted Dixie. Good afternoon, Bulldog faithful. Congratulations to all of you, and we root hard for every last one of you every time you play. Introducing the 2021 Spring Southwestern Athletic Conference and HBCU National Champion Bulldog football team. The first set of rings goes to the offensive lineman presented by offensive line coach Marcus Lawrence, Josh Anderson, Adrian Barrett, Neville Brown. Hey, hey guys, nobody open your ring till everybody get it. You want to roll? All right, open it up. Don't peek. I'm watching. Josh Anderson, Adrian Barrett, Neville Brown, Nick Crumpler, Nick Glenn, and Tyrius Harrington, Eddie Maxson Jr., Israel McQuiza, Taylor Sanders, Jabari Stanley, Dylan Swanson, Alec Trotman, Carson Vinson, Cameron Williams, and Jonathan Williams.
walk around the circle. Next up will be the defensive lineman presented by Coach Kiannis Bowler and Carlos Fields. The defensive line, Breon Austin, Dre Carter, Lee Coleman, Hayden Guilford, Jamal Irby, Eli Jackson, Jalen McGee, Richard McKenzie, Liston Richardson, Selma Russell, Osman Savage, Kalol Yelding. The running back group is next. The running backs presented by running backs coach Fred Ferrier, Dylan Blackburn, Quantarius Daniels, Colin Malone, Ryan Morrow, Antonio Robinson, Gary Quarles. No peeking, gentlemen, no peeking. The linebackers presented by linebackers coach and defensive coordinator Granville Eastman, Chris Barnes, Demetrius Biambi, Xavier Billingsling, Richard Calloway, Mike Makins, Quan Travis Kelly, Armani Holloway. Sure, pick it. I'm done now. You can get whatever you need. It's in it's in here. Back to all the Kickers and Long Snappers presented by kicking coach Richard Wilson. A little quiet, please, gentlemen. Connor Francisi, Abram Jones, Troy Linvey, Spencer Corey. The tight ends presented by tight ends coach Bobby Turner, Bryson Clark, Barry White, Anthony Howard, Kendrick Johnson. <laughs> safeties. Safeties presented by safeties coach Chris Schelling. DeMarco Goodson. Excuse me, DeMarco Gibson, Khalil Griffin, Dewan Hughes, Marvin Smith, Alex Stanley, Jonathan Struggs, Jabron McNeil, Trin McGee, Amari Holloway.
Cornerbacks presented by cornerback coach O.C. Williams, Devon Bradshaw, K.C. Izo Mone, Joe Narcisse, Donovan Parks, Caleb Riley, Jamarian Trey Green. Wide receivers presented by wide receivers coach and offensive coordinator Dwayne Taylor. Jalen Lewis, Bradley Caldwell, Terrell Gardner, CJ Young, Brian Jenkins, Oday Hilaire, Zabrian Moore, Abdul Fatai Ibrahim. That was up. <laughs> the quarterbacks, presented by quarterback coach Jason Mai, Fisher Ort, Carlos Dixon, Xavier Langford, and the Quill Glass. Head coach Connell Maynard will now present the rings to his coaching staff. The equipment manager, Henry Harris. Strength coach, Dedrick Barty. Safeties coach, Chris Schelling. Tight ends coach, Bobby Turner. Running backs coach, Fred Ferrier. Kicking coach, Richard Wilson. Offensive line coach, Marcus Lawrence. Defensive coordinator, Granville Eastman, quarterback coach, director of football operations, Jason Mai, and offensive coordinator, Dwayne Taylor. Let's have a big round of applause for the Bulldog football team. Y'all ready? All right, take the box off, take the box off. Hey, Jalen, that's 300. That's 300. 300. I said take this off. Well, that's why you're going to get C's and D's. One, two, three. Bling, bling. Congratulations. Let's everyone give, give football and men's tennis a great round of round applause. Well, let's, let's take a look, at, a look at the video of the teams.
Another big reason why we are here tonight is to celebrate and welcome a new bulldog. This past year, last fall, we had a committee um, working with the brand positioning doctor, Jeff Shirley and his management team. Jeff is a graduate of Alabama a and &M. So he worked with us, uh, Dr. McDaniel, student athletes, alumni, national alum, alumni, President Mary Moore, and student athletes and the community at large. And this was truly an athletic event where it was one team, one voice to get a product. And we were able to do. So let's take a look up at the new Bulldog. So the drop date for stores near you, homecoming. <laughs> All right, so this brings us to a call. If I can get everyone to stand. And we'll do a stance of the university hymn. 